What is going on everyone? Panel 3 of KTFO Gaming and today I'm bringing you a brand new video on the new Call of Duty Ghost DLC Nemesis which comes out on August 5th for Xbox 360 and Xbox One. But before I get into that, a little bit about the gameplay. So you're watching me getting my first or second KEM. Yesterday I hopped on Ghost and I just wanted to get a KEM. I haven't got one before. I haven't really played a lot of public matches on Ghost. So this is kind of like my first time trying to get a KEM. I got two within an hour or so, and I'd only recorded one on accident. I don't really know where my first or second one went, but at least I got one. So I hope you enjoy the gameplay, guys. Let's get right into the video. So Nemesis has four multiplayer maps and one extinction map. Let's get to the multiplayer first just to get it out of the way. So Gold Rush is set in an abandoned gold mine in the southwest United States. It's the caves and stuff. It's got car two cards going around and they can kill you it's got elevators in the map and it's a long range medium to long range map so that's really not my taste but it could be yours probably snipers AR LMGs that type of map next up is sub zero which is a Canadian submarine base that's been evacuated or abandoned and it's based around old like old Call of Duty map design three lanes in a map which I really do prefer, except for this random bullshit that they throw in and dose. Three lanes, so it's like medium to short range gunfights, and hopefully it's a good map. And that the kill streak in this map is it's weird. It's like a blizzard that follows you around. Like basically, you call in the blizzard, and this is like blizzard ghost thing with red eyes that follows you around and kills you. I'm not really sure if you can kill it or it just goes away on its own. I hope you can kill it, but it is really weird. It's like kind of ghost-like. It's honestly, it's weird. <laughs> I know I've said that about five times, but it is pretty, pretty creepy. Next up, we have Dynasty, which puts you in a lakeside Chinese village surrounded by mountains, gardens, and architecture. And it's basically just a Chinese city. It's a short range gunfights. So short range map, you want SMGs, maybe ARs, something like that and the unique thing about this in, in dynasty is it has a harrier from modern warfare 2 if you don't know what that is it is basically it airstrikes like twice or three times in the map and then after it airstrikes it hovers over the map kind of like a, an attack helicopter but it just stays there and it just shoots you down it is a really good kill streak it was one of the kill streaks that you used to get a nuke in modern warfare 2 and it was, it was like one of the main kill streaks people used. It was, it was a really good kill streak, and I hope it, you know, carries on and goes. So I'm really actually excited for that map. Next up, we have Showtime, which is the fan favorite Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare map shipment. Now, if you don't know what this is, it is the smallest map ever made in Call of Duty, <clears throat> and honestly, probably one of the best maps in Call of Duty. It's where I got my first 200 kills in Call of Duty. It, it, the map is so hectic, but if you know how to play it, you, you're really good. Like, you're getting at least 100 kills, like, automatically. Back in the day, you used to just play headquarters or a long type of gameplay map, and you just used to just dominate in that map. You get your whole squad, and in shipment, you would dominate. It is tiny. Take a ghost map, I, you can't even, like, compare it to a ghost map. Ghost maps are huge. You know what I can kind of compare it to? Kind of like Back of Octane. <laughs> In the Back of o o Octane, pretty much what it is. I don't know if you're trying to... I, I can visualize it, but you can't. It is tiny. It's four shipping crates in the middle that make a cross. Two other... No. Four shipping crates on either side. Well, two shipping crates on either side of them. And then one up above and one down below. It is an insane map. In the score streaks or field orders for this map, there's three. Hope it doesn't ruin the map. I'm praying it does not ruin the map. It might. I'm hoping it doesn't. So you have turrets around the map that just mow you down. There are random turrets that just pop up. And I think there's, there's more than one. So it's kind of hard to avoid. But I think if once you learn the map and you know it's out, uh, you know, know they're out there, then you can avoid them. Next up, we have random pair packages that just go around the map. I, I believe I saw four or five just go down on the map, and that's a lot because this map is tiny. I mean, it's tiny, so that's a lot of care packages on that map. And next up, there's just a 
deadly gas that goes in the middle. I'm guessing near the four containers, and it probably just surrounds that area. I'm really excited for this map. I really hope they didn't screw with it and like they did with Scrapyard with that underground tunnel. I really just hope they kept the shipment, the shipment gameplay the way it was. It is an amazing map. If you haven't played it, you have got to try shipment. It is the best map ever made in Call of Duty. In my opinion, I wanted this for years, but sadly they put it in the worst Call of Duty made at this point. <laughs> but next up we have Extinction. So, episode 4 at Exodus. Basically, what you're trying to do is you need to get people onto a ship, like a spaceship that goes on Earth's orbit. And you can pick which path you want to choose, which is the thing you can only do. This is like the first extinction map you can do. So you pick your path and your main goal is to get VIPs into the shuttle that can, you know, launch and go in the atmosphere. That is all for Nemesis, guys. Advanced Warfare information is coming up tomorrow. So I really hope you enjoy this video, guys. I hope you enjoy the next video. I'll see you for the next video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.